Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The world knows that India has critical deficiency in its air power. This includes lack of fighter jet squadron and force multipliers such as airborne early warning system and in-flight refuelers. Indian Air Force is operating 31 squadrons with each squadron fielding 18 to 20 aircrafts against the sanctioned strength of 42. The Air Force can only get a maximum of 35 squadrons in next one decade, that is 10 years. Now, in order to reach 35 squadrons by 2035, Indian Air Force is under process of inducting 83 light combat aircraft LCTS Mark 1A, 114 multi-role fighter aircraft MRFA under by global category. The Air Force has also committed to 10 squadrons of LCA Mark II, which will come in two phases. In Phase 1, Air Force will procure 6 squadrons followed by 4 squadrons in Phase 2. And Air Force has also committed for 2 squadrons of AMCA Mark I and 5 squadrons of AMCA Mark II. The major threat for India is China. The PLA Air Force has gone from a rudimentary Air Force to the one that is catching up with US Air Force through rapid iterative development of better aircraft and distinguished capabilities. In a span of just nine years, that is from 2012 to 2021, PLA Air Force has inducted 878 4.5th generation fighter jet, which is almost 44 squadrons. The J-20, which is started as Chinese fifth generation fighter jet, is alleged to have copied much of its technology and design from American fifth generation fighter F-35. The aircraft conducted its maiden flight in 2011 and was commissioned in the year 2017. It is now active in all five theater commands across China. That is in eastern, southern, western, northern, and central part of China. As per reports, China has nearly 208 J-20 in its inventory. At the same time, China also has 240 J-16 fighter jets. The aircraft derives its feature from Russian Su-27 and Su-30. China has also developed an electronic attack version of J-16 known as J-16 D. China has also fielded 200 J-10C fighter jets, which are most capable single-engine fighter jet in Chinese inventory. So, in summary, the PLA Air Force has more than 650 latest fighter jets, which is combination of 5th and 4.5th generation fighter jets. There has been always questions and doubt about Chinese aircraft's quality and capability. However, these fighter jets are being upgraded continuously, which is very important, with better engine and a homegrown engine, electronics and avionics and weapons. The PLA Air Force has been focused on inducting fighter jets at faster pace and upgrading them, thereby maturing the underlying technologies. They are not waiting for developing a mature technology and then inducting it. At the same time, China is also arming Pakistan with 4.5th generation fighter jet, which is J-10C and is touted as Lafal Challenger by Pakistan fanboys. The PLA Air Force is now a formidable force with a massive fleet of aircraft which has been churning out fighter jets indigenously. Indian Air Force should study how PLA Air Force has steadily built its fighter jet squadrons and force multiplier assets. No country has achieved the state of superior air power by importing fighter jets. One can always challenge the lack of matured aerospace industry in India. However, if the homegrown aerospace sector is not encouraged, it's never going to be mature. R&D is a journey and indeed a tougher one which one has to embrace to ripe its benefits, hoping that some country will transfer the technology based on which 
we can grow and take a giant leap in aerospace sector is simply misguiding armed forces are going to be the primary users or the primary operators for the home grown technology and that's why it's important that they induct them into the service at a faster pace to bolster its export capabilities as well as mature the platform therefore they need to be extensively engaged with development process with drdo and to larger extent own it as indian navy has done for lc navy program and even for its ship building program which will help navy to further design its future it be a fighter jets future destroyers and corvettes any critical technology in aerospace sector be it in an engine or a fighter jet design and development must be pursued indigenously with continuous supply of funds learning from kaveri engine development india need to kick start the futuristic engine development program which can power amka and tnpf mrfa is going to be a massive 18 to 20 billion dollar deal to procure 114 fighter jet however let's look at this deal what will india gain from it maybe it will add to the indian air force squadron strength we will manufacture them locally but has that been helpful in designing indigenous aircraft we have been manufacturing su 30 mk locally and keep on increasing the indigenous component in it but have we been able to field a twin engine fighter jet similar to su 30 mki with better capability and technologies the answer is no so the instead of draining billions of dollars on foreign firm india must redirect this fund towards the order of 40 more lcts mark 1a and expedite the radar and engine upgrades for su 30 mki once su 30 mki gets uttam ace radar and new engine it will once again rule the sky india should order 36 more rafale to maintain four squadrons two for eastern and two for western frontier considering the two front war situation this should be done considering the present threat and lack of fighter jet squadron the fund saved from mrfa should be diverted to expedite the lca mark 2 development and more orders for the fighter jet once it enters the production it is going to be the next home grown bird which is going to fly after lc mark 1a and much more capable fighter the amka development and indigenous engine development also need to be pursued at war scale these are some of the areas where the fund for mrfa must be redirected which will build a strong base for indian air force for decades to come if mrfa program continues it will take over the massive chunk of funds which should have been spent on indigenous platform be it futuristic engine program lc mark 2 or amka india must not repeat the mistake of past the indigenous program will have to succeed and the onus for the same is on leaders and decision makers this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector